T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, so, so at this point, uh, they basically initiated uh, CAPU start, uh, and and basically those will be coming up on helium. They'll go into a uh, what we call the wiggle test, which is where they'll gimbal the engines, um, and then so so that's uh, basically coming up here in um, just a couple of minutes. Uh, on the on the plus side of of, of that, uh, you know, once we get into the engine starts. Um, T minus four minutes, CAPU start, starting LO2 securing. Okay, so, and then um, basically the enable command for ALS at 9.2 seconds, and then we go into engine start at roughly at six seconds. Those uh, take about five seconds to come up to full operating uh, pressures, and uh, basically at that point the stage controller will be go for launch, or go for test in this case at two seconds, and um, basically we go forward into our profile for the day. We're, we're coming up on two minutes. Here's a gimbal test taking place. T-E-A, go, A-G-A, go, R-E-A, go, N-E-A, go, N-E-A, go, N-E-A. Vehicle and speed two systems are go for ALS. Great. And you, at this so point, you see the, uh, the, the uh, in, basically the water system has come on full bore. All right, T-minus 30, we're in ALS. And you just got the, the uh, official start of ALS. Next up is the hydrogen burn-off igniters come on at uh, 12 seconds before T0. H boys on. Go for engine start. H boys are on and engine starts has been okay. And all personnel, we've got engine to start and we're into the plus count. All personnel, please continue to monitor your system and grass is in control. Engine Thank you. 
three and a half minutes into the first half. Just over five and a half minutes in the plus count. Coming up on seven minutes of the plus one. Did you plus seven minutes? Just over eight minutes into the plus count. Well, personnel is coming up hopefully on a lot of depletion here and we have a cut on. All right. REA, uh, can you bear? REA on channel 16. Oh. REA on channel. REA on channel 16, very yeah. safe engine shutdown, please. 
safe engine shutdown. And you're in post shutdown standby, correct? Correct. Okay, all personnel, that takes us to page 656. All personnel go to page 656 to start the post hot fire shutdown securing operations. All right. Okay, all personnel on page Bill, as you said earlier, as we talked about earlier, the team was hoping to get at least four minutes of data. And we. All right, they are proceeding with the, their shutdown procedures now. As we said earlier, the team was hoping to get at least four minutes of data, and they did get more than, ten, than eight minutes, excuse me. So they should have gotten what they need. The team will obviously need to look at that data, but based on what we've seen, uh, Bill, tell us more about what, you, what it looked like to you. Yeah, so they uh, cl clearly got the uh, full duration that they were after, which is really great news. And I think you heard the applause. They had, you know, the command to shut down, which is exactly what they were looking for. They had no TCC violations, uh, test commit criteria violations that would have uh, prompted an early shutdown. So that was really good news. Um, you know, clearly there's a lot of data that now that's going to have to be analyzed. The engineers got to see uh, what worked and what didn't or what needs to be tweaked and what doesn't. But uh, that said, I think uh, the applause says a lot about uh, how the team feels, you know, that they got through the test and it looks pretty good right now. Yeah, so um, there, there was some, uh, you know, observed uh, burning on the aft end. Uh, one of the things that Boeing had done uh, after the last test was to apply uh, a lot of extra cork to the aft end because we aren't, we aren't going to get we didn't, unfortunately, with this test, right, we're not flying through uh, the thin air as, you, as we ascend. And so we knew we were going to have more of that, and that was one of the reasons why they added that. They also put a tape covering over the top of that. Uh, we knew that, uh, you know, if the tape gets hot enough, that adhesive layer below the tape surface is going to start burning, and so we clearly saw a lot of that. Uh, but there was nothing that prompted uh, to shut down early, which was, which was really good news. Great. Thank you, Bill. I think that's all the updates that we'll have for you here as the team proceeds through their shutdown procedures. So we'll turn it back over to Lee. Thank you, Catherine. Congratulations to the team. So as the engineers gather the data from today, we look ahead to the next steps. This core stage will be refurbished and sent by barge to our Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There, it will be stacked in the iconic vehicle assembly building with other elements of the SLS rocket, including the twin solid rocket boosters, which our teams are, have already begun stacking on the mobile launcher. The core stage and boosters will then be stacked with the upper stage and the Orion spacecraft. All of this work putting us on track to roll out to launch pad 39B for a liftoff later this year on Artemis 1. We've got several other firsts on the horizon. This year, the first of our commercial lunar payload services, or CLPS missions, begin with two companies delivering instruments to the lunar surface. The golf cart-sized Viper rover will search for water at the moon's south pole. And a small CubeSat called Capstone will head to the moon, scouting the orbit to be used on later human missions. Meanwhile, the hardware for the next two Artemis missions, which will carry astronauts to the moon, is coming together. The Orion spacecraft for Artemis II is down at Kennedy undergoing assembly, and the spacecraft for Artemis III, as well as the rockets for Artemis II and III, are also being manufactured right now at Mishu. So that wraps it up for us here today. After a major milestone on America's return of astronauts to the lunar surface, a successful test of the core stage of the Space Launch System rocket. Up next, we'll be replaying the test, and we will have a post-test briefing in about two hours here on NASA Television. We invite you to follow all of our progress online at nasa.gov slash Artemis program, or join the conversation online with at NASA Artemis and at NASA underscore SLS. Thank you for joining us, and go Artemis.